So I thought I'd take a minute to put together a quick video to share with you guys my homemade, natural, and pretty darn effective deer repellent. So if you are sick of spending a fortune on deer repellents and dealing with some stuff that you don't know what's in it and it smells like some horrid combination of wet dog and rotten eggs, uh, but you want to protect your garden from the deer, this video might be just what you're looking for. All right, so here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need an empty jug, and you should definitely label it so that people know what it is. You're gonna need some insecticidal soap. You can use dish soap as an alternative, but uh, I prefer using the insecticidal soap because it's meant to go on plants. You're gonna need some cassia oil, which is basically a generic cinnamon oil. You can use cinnamon oil as well, but cassia oil tends to be a little less expensive. You're gonna need some eucalyptus oil, some apple cider vinegar, white pepper, garlic, ground cloves, xanthan gum, and salt. And here's how we put it all together. Before we start mixing all this stuff together, I just want to let you know that at the end of this video, I'm going to have a printout, basically a recipe, uh, that'll give you all of the different measurements for exactly what you need to, to put this all together. Let's go make some deer spray. All right, so I usually start by filling up my gallon jug here about halfway. You don't want to fill it to the top because you're going to want to be able to shake this vigorously. And if it's filled right to the top, you really won't be able to do that. And I usually start with warm water. And then I typically take all of my dry ingredients, which is the salt, the cloves, the garlic, and the white pepper not the xanthan gum. The xanthan gum goes in very last. That's the last thing I add. But all of the other dry ingredients, I usually kind of mix them all together into a measuring cup here and then dump them into the water so I can give them a good shake. Then we'll move on from there. We've got white pepper. ground cloves powdered garlic and salt. And at this point we want to mix all of our dry ingredients in with the warm water and give it a good shake so that they can start to dissolve. All right, and now we'll start with our liquid ingredients. We're gonna want two ounces of the cassia oil or cinnamon oil. Four ounces of apple cider vinegar. Two teaspoons of insecticidal soap. This acts as an emulsifier. It helps so that these essential oils can actually mix with the water instead of just floating on top of them. And also can help act a little bit as a sticker to kind of help make sure this stuff sticks to your plants.
some eucalyptus oil. We're going to take these liquid ingredients and we're going to mix this in with the water. And at this point, you want to give the whole thing a good shake. Now that everything's mixed up, you want to add in your xanthan gum, and then we'll give it another good shake. The xanthan gum actually acts as a thickener, and it all uh, it, it just thickens it up a bit, and uh, and again it also helps it to stick to the plants a little bit better. And once you add the xanthan gum, you really want to shake it right away so that it doesn't clump up in the bottom. I've had that happen to me before in the past. And that's basically about it. You really want to shake the stuff up well. Uh, that xanthan gum, it works great as a thickener, but if it's not shaken up really well, it can get a little bit clumpy and that could potentially clog your sprayer. So I usually shake it really well when I make it. And then in a perfect world, what I'll do is, is I'll actually like put it down next to my front door or next to my back door or somewhere where I know I'm going to be traveling. And I'll let it sit for a couple days. And every time I walk in or out or I walk past it, I'll pick it up and give it a good shake, put it back down again. Do that, try to do that two, three, four times a day and, and do that over the course of two or three days. So that stuff can really mix up well. Um, if you have an old blender, you can put it in a blender and a blender would, would mix it up really well for you as well. Okay. Now that we've gotten our deer spray made, uh, a couple of things that I just wanted to mention. Uh, I've used this stuff for many years and I've never had any problems with it. Uh, now I live in Connecticut, so I've never used this stuff on plants that you would find in a more tropical environment. And uh, you know, there's always a risk or a possibility of what we call phytotoxicity, some kind of a foliar burn or anything like that. I've never had a problem with it. I've shared this recipe with uh, several of my friends. They've never had a problem with it. But you may want to, I would actually recommend that you do a test spot. You know, uh, spray a little spot on a plant somewhere, give it a day or two, make sure you don't run into any kind of a, a burn problem or anything like that. I also wouldn't spray it if it's really hot. If it's, you know, 85, 90, 95 degrees, uh, I'd be very cautious about spraying anything on any plant. Uh, under extremely hot or extremely humid conditions. Um, another thing is I don't spray this on my vegetables. Now you know you guys know the ingredients that's in it. You just made it along with me. Uh, you know that's really your call. I don't want my lettuce to taste like cinnamon. I don't want my tomatoes to taste like vinegar. So I don't spray this on my vegetables but because it is a scent repellent uh, you might find that even if you spray it around the perimeter of your garden or even like in the walkways and the pathways between the plants, just having the scent in your garden might be enough 
to help keep the deer away. Uh, so there's just a couple of things that you, you, you probably should keep in mind when you're using it. This is a concentrate. This is not, you don't apply it like this. You actually mix this 12 ounces of this concentrate to one gallon of water. So with one gallon of this concentrate, you can actually make you know, about 11, roughly 11 gallons of your actual spray. Uh, and I, I think I, when I put this together, I could probably make a gallon of this for about 10 bucks. So by the time you mix this with water, you're looking at like a dollar a gallon. It's really, uh, compared to a lot of these dairy pellets that are on the market, it's really cost effective. I've found it to be very effective as far as repelling deer. And it actually smells kind of good. It smells like cinnamon. Cinnamon is really predominantly what you smell. The cinnamon and maybe the clove a little bit. But, uh, but it's not a horrible smelling product like a lot of these other dairy pellets. So, uh, so I hope this helps uh, try it with caution, use common sense, and uh, let me know if it works or not. And I hope it does. If you like these kind of videos and if you think this is helpful, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave me a comment. Let me know how it works for you because I'm really curious to see how other people how it works out for other people as well. I've had very good luck with it and, uh, and a lot of my friends have, but uh, hopefully it works as well for you. Thanks.